Okay, just gonna go through some of the gear I have laid out. Trekking poles, uh, cook kit, rain jacket, food bag, tent, shoes, sandals, um, seat, hat, socks, uh, pajama clothes, hiking clothes, pack uh, cover, you know, my water system, my ditty bag, my Lucci lantern, my toilet paper kit, and my pack of course, and my Nemo equipment sleeping bag which is still in it is storage stack sack, not its compression sack. Oh, and my neck knife. A brief overview here. Okay, now for those who, like me, are super um, organized and particular about, well, pretty much every aspect of the trip, but in particular the gear that I'm going to take, I want to just show you, just so you're aware of how I go about uh, getting things ready. So I have a kitchen scale. Uh, for anything that can be put in a stuff, stuff sack or just set on there. And then I have um, a luggage scale for my pack or trekking poles or food bag, anything that's too big to fit on the scale. I weigh things um, individually and then I also weigh things all together in a pack um, typically. I use Lighter Pack website, um, and this list here I'm doing just, uh, this is still from Lighter Pack, but I just printed the list that I created, and then I'm um, putting all my weights and everything on here. Um, that's just the easiest way for me to do it so I don't have my computer outside here because I'm out in the backyard and it's hot. Okay. So I wanted to do a in-depth overview of all of my gear and how much it weighs and why I'm bringing it. So I'm going to run through a lot of the stuff in my pack and um, I have it all set out here surrounding me out on the back porch. Um, and we're going to just go through everything. Um, so this video is for people that are like me that are very detailed and want to know like every single thing that they're taking and um, so that I'm just trying to share the information that I have about what I'm taking so that you can be better prepared for your trip. So one of the first things I want to show you are my trekking poles. They are Mountain Smith cork handle, um, these aluminum uh, 7075s. Um, they're, I'd say, middle of the road. They're not, the, they're not cheap, but they're not, you know, the car, car, carbon fiber or the most expensive uh, things. But they pack, uh, they're compressible down like this, which is what I really like, and it has a, a quick release on the the locking mechanism down here because. I started out with some really cheap ones and I basically broke them straight out of the package so I had to upgrade to something a little bit better. Yeah. And the trekking poles weigh one pound one ounce. And they're it's, on my um, lighter pack I have a skin out a uh, list so yeah trekking poles are definitely not counted in your base weight but I also have a skin out weight which would be basically literally everything every single thing that you're wearing carrying and you know how long your hair is all that so that's that's part of that list but it's one pound one ounce for these poles okay uh, next I'm going to show you my water filtering system I keep it in this little uh, bag uh, just so that it doesn't get anything else in my pack wet um, once I'm done using it. Okay, so here it all is. My bag, empty now. Um, the Seanock Outdoors is what I use to get water from the water source. 
So I used to use just a regular like bottle, like a, the bottle that the Sawyers come with, the flat bottles. But this, it opens completely um, up at the top so that you can get in a very shallow source, you can get a lot of water at once, which I appreciate. Um, and then I have the Sawyer Squeeze. This is the normal size. This is the unit I've been using a long time. Um, on the end of it, I have a um, smart water bottle uh, converter. Um, so what I can do is put one end on the CNOC and then the other end screws to the smart water bottle so that I don't spill any and don't make a mess. Um, I also have a drinkable top so in case something happens and I need to drink like if I'm dying of thirst or something I can drink I can swap this out and and uh, drink directly from the from either a water bottle or the CNOC. And the whole system including the bag weighs six ounces. Okay here is my cookware setup. I have a um, food bag, my uh, mess kit, the bear hanging rope, a uh, spoon, and some fuel here. Let's get more in depth. Alright, so toques, uh, titanium, spoon, which is really good if you do like mountain house meals or any sort of meal like that that you have to heat up in a um, uh, freezer bag. Um, my fuel is just an MSR Isopro. This I've taken out multiple times. Um, it's probably going to last me another like three or four trips. Um, the MSR um, uh, stove. The MSR stove here is actually my dad's uh, from when he went hiking um, like I think it was maybe 2000 and four something like that so it's pretty old but um it's still nice and light and it still works just fine screws right on and no issues uh, it's i mean it's not been used very much either so because you know we're just weekend back back first um uh -huh. let's pause this okay sorry about that um so normally i only bring this uh, mallow me um pot just to boil water in for my mountain house or whatever uh, with the lid of course a um, little piece of um, uh, little piece of windshield you know that windshield protector stuff um, in case I need to grab any bit of it that's hot or anything or the lid even because I'm terrified of burning myself because I've done that a couple times um, while camping then I have a um, little piece of sponge. I mean, this virtually weighs nothing. It doesn't even show up on the, the scale. And a big lighter, of course, for the stove. And I always keep Tums in here, <laughs> just in case. Just in case, I have an upset tummy. This trip, which I don't normally bring, but I am this time, is I'm going to bring this little skillet. Now, yes, I know I can use my water pot as a skillet but because this is the first time that I'm doing um, this certain type of cooking I want to make sure that I because what I'm afraid that if I if I burn something in this that I am not going to be able to get it totally out without soap because I just have a you know a sponge and then I don't want the rest of my food to taste like burnt burnt whatever because I'm going to use this to actually try to cook something <laughs> Oh, wish me luck. But it's a little bit heavier than normal, and that's why. Um, this is my original bear hanging kit. So it's in a random bag. That's not the brand of a, bag, a bear hang kit. It's just rope and some carabiners that hook onto my food bag. And I have a carabiner at the top of my food bag. Um, I ordered on Amazon a bear hanging kit and it is supposed to come on Saturday. 
um, with a food bag. And so depending on how comfortable I feel with using that, I will be switching out, upgrading from my hodgepodge kit to something that's like more professional, we'll call it. My total kit here, let's take a look. Oh, and my cup, my cup's in the dishwasher. Uh, so the cup weighs two ounces. The hanging kit, which is my random section there, weighs 3.7 ounces. My, or no, I'm sorry, not. Yeah, two ounces, yeah. My pot plus the koozie plus that extra pan is um, one pound, one pound, no ounces. Um, the fuel right now weighs four ounces and the toke spoon doesn't even weigh an ounce. So that's where I'm at with that right now. Let's see when I get my bear baggy hanging kit. If it's heavier than this, I won't take it. If it's lighter, then I'll be good. Uh, full disclosure for this next, next part, I'm going to go through my ditty bag and it does include some feminine hygiene products. Okay, here is my ditty bag. It weighs one pound, two ounces, and that does include my headlamp. That is a clip-on headlamp that I keep in my ditty bag because I really only, I don't do any night hiking if I can help it. Okay, here's my ditty bag all spread out. Um, like I said, up at the top, I have my feminine hygiene products, which I will probably need on this trip. And then I have my... I have Neutrogena face wipes for the end of the day. I have my toothbrush toothpaste. This clip has um, tape on it for any blisters that I get. I've got my vitamins and my um, ibuprofen in here. Okay, extra hair ties, tweezers. Um, this is hand sanitizer. I have, this is that clip on headlamp that I was saying. Um, I, I only keep it um, in my ditty bag. I just clip it on my hat at night if I have to go to the restroom. Uh, Anti-itch. I have deodorant. I don't know if I'm going to bring it though or not because I'm going to smell. I know I'm going to smell, but also it's only three days, so it doesn't weigh that much. Uh, brush which and mirror, which I had a brush mirror combo on my last trip and I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. Um, this is actually hand soap, pocket soap, so there's these little tiny sheets in here that I can pull out. Um, you still don't use it, you know, around water source or anything like that, but you, I would use my, my water and I can pull out a little sheet and I can actually physically wash my hands, which feels really good. Um, bl um, Blistex, and this is another little flashlight, just in case um, I want to use it in my tent or something and I don't want to wake up other people with a big bright headlamp. Um, so I mean, the only things in here really that have any weight to them are this, the hairbrush and the mirror. They weigh an ounce each and that's pretty heavy. And then my feminine hygiene products that unfortunately are, I need, they, um, they are also quite heavy. Um, and then the bug spray. Bug spray is one ounce. Deodorant does weigh an ounce, so I might pass on that. But this is it. My little setup. Oh, I forgot to go over this. This is my um, first aid kit. So there's alcohol wipes, there's a pin in here, there's a tissue, and then there is band aids. That's it. That's all I ever need. Knock on board. Alright, I'm going to take you to, through some of my miscellaneous items. So I have a Lucci Empowered solar lamp um, that I love and I will continue to bring even though it does weigh, how much does that lamp weigh? Three ounces. So that's not too bad. It is kind of heavy, but I like having a lot of light, especially if I'm going solo, which I am this time. Uh, this is a pack towel. Um, so I can use this to wash my hands or I need, if I need to clean out the tent, I can um, use that. And I will tell you how much that weighs. The pack towel weighs one ounce. And I have my mosquito head net here, insect shield head net. It's super fashionable. Just kidding. 
Um, but I love it because I hate in the morning walking through spider webs, and I'm sure that, that will happen. And the head net is one ounce. I also have a thermometer, compass, whistle, combo. These always hangs on the front of my pack, and that weighs less than an ounce. And then I have my Kula cloth, which is something that I'm going to try new this time. I'm actually going to try a couple new bathroom things because at one of the spots there is no privy, so I have that. Um, for those that don't know what a Kula cloth is, go ahead and Google it, but um, it is for going number one out in the woods. Um, and it hangs on the pack and it dries. It's called a P-Rag. Uh, Kula cloth is the brand and it weighs less than an ounce. And it's got a fox on it. And this is perfectly clean. I haven't used it yet. My potty bag, toilet paper, trowel, which is the Deuce of Spades 2, uh, which weighs, weighs less than an ounce. My toilet paper weighs an ounce. This time I'm also bringing a bidet. And a bidet, basically you fill it with water and then you turn the spout upside down and then it squirts out um, on your nethers. Um, so that is also something new and that does weigh two ounces, the bidet, without water. And then I have um, some hand sanitizer in here as well. Cucumber melon actually is filled with regular Germex because I ran out of the cucumber. Um, it's another thing I weigh. So I had two different bottles of um, hand sanitizer. And so I decided to bring the smaller one because I'm only going out for three days. Yeah, and that's my potty kit. Put that in the side pocket. Pack pocket of my pack usually okay so lastly here we have of course the tent which is the high low two and i have my shoes which are merrill's i have a thermarest z seat i have my um under armor hat which i sprayed with bug spray and um waterproof my neck knife which is a crkt i have my pack cover, which I will probably bring this time because I know for sure it's going to rain. Camp shoes are these very, very lightweight sandals. My socks. I have two pairs of Njinji and three pairs of socks. So one pair of Njinji and one pair of socks I will hike in. The rest I will be able to change out and sleep in. My bag for my clothes that has my underwear in it. And my sleep system is going to be, my sleep pajamas are going to be long sleeve and cuddle duds. I also have a buff in case I need to keep my head warm at night. Puffy vest. I'm not bringing a puffy coat because it's not supposed to go below 55 so I think a puffy vest will be enough. I have my hiking shirt which has been sprayed. I have my hiking pants which are runner pants. I do not hike in shorts because of uh, bugs. And my hiking long sleeve shirt which is a Duluth um, really comfortable. Multiple hikes. So, oh, and there's my sleeping bag, which is still in its storage sack. And my pack. And that's all. That's everything. That's everything I think we went over. Oh, there's my raincoat. Free country raincoat.